Alrighty folks, welcome back to the channel Techadu again and uh, in this video we are going to do another or part two of the stress test um, on uh, the new M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch base version with only 8 gigs of RAM. Now to begin the test as promised I will be opening up 50 Google Chrome tabs, Word, Excel, PowerPoint and we are going to open up FaceTime to see whether we can max out this RAM to 95%. That's the mission, folks. 95% how much it takes to make that RAM go to 95 to 99%. So let's try this. And let me do 50 tabs. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you the 50 tabs. Or actually, it's pretty easy with the touch bar. All you have to do is just go out here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. That's how 50 tabs look like. Um, you will see that my RAM usage is 61%. And even if I start working out here, so for example, I'm just working, I'm just making a, you know, like a Excel kind of a thing where, you know, like, I can go up and down right now. I'm just making, you know, small Excel stuff and I'm showing you that while I'm working, my RAM is still sitting at 62 to 63% while um, all of my Google Chrome 50 tabs are still open. So 50 tabs, I got Word, Excel, PowerPoint running on a eight gigs version that is only using 60% of my RAM. So now you guys decide and let me know in comments below, do you think the eight gigs is worth it or would you spend out extra cash for 16 gigs? Remember this, I do videos on a daily basis. I use DaVinci Resolve on a daily basis. I came down from a 32 gigs of RAM to eight gigs of RAM on this new M1 because this is beyond imagination the performance on this is beyond imagination. It just rules out all laws of what a CPU does, what a RAM does. Uh, the reason behind is that it's a kernel architecture. Um, and in kernel, when it's coded in micro kernel, um, you will know that software all the time is way more supreme. So if your software is three times better, it can run on less hungrier machine. That's what I think uh, this new Mac OS Big Sur with the Apple M1 Mac is all about. Well, that was it, folks. That was an honest presentation right in front of you that you can try whatever you want. You will never be able to max out the RAM on this, even on 8 gigs. Now, in 16, it will allow you to sleep better because 16 gigs of RAM is a lot. Uh, the reason I did not select the 16 gigs is because I upgrade laptops every five to six years. I would rather keep that extra 200, $300 for something else. And I would get the eight gigs version for myself. But then again, it depends what you're doing. If you are a video editor who is doing like 6K and 8K, whose minimum requirement is 6K footage, please go ahead and purchase the 16 gigs of RAM maybe. But I have not noticed anything different. So that was it, folks. That was all from the channel Techadoo. I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very important test. This will allow you to understand that whether do you need even 16 gigs of RAM or not. And in the next presentation, we are going to talk about do you need 256 or 500 gigs of storage. So till then, take care. Good night.